Hi, this is JP from Not Alliance Over Arkham. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. This is another holiday special episode of playing Arkham Horror the card game. And uh, this time the theme is based on Indiana Jones. So without further ado, uh, welcome to Monterey Jack and the Temple of Doom of SP. Okay, well, let's first talk about the scenario. So I am playing the Doom of Estli in the Return to version. So the uh, uh, exploration deck doesn't have any treacheries or anything like that at the start, but it will get a, a one for each successful investigation. So it will get harder and harder to investigate. Then uh, another change I made is that you would be substi substituting the expedition to doomed expedition. Uh, actually, let's check it. No, uh, in this scenario, you will be substituting temporary flux to temporary hunters or temporal hunters and X venom to venomous hate. So uh, instead, I did the one uh, variant. The randomized encounter sets. So uh, when it tells you to change this, I am actually mixing those two encounter sets together and picking uh, random cards from both sets. So I'm not even sure what uh, cards are in the encounter deck at this point. So it will be a um, surprise, not possibly not a pleasant surprise, but a surprise for sure. So, uh, that is basically it. Uh, we also used the uh, uh, return to version of the uh, big bad uh, snake guy, uh, the Harbing Harbinger, and um, yeah, um, let's go into Monterey Jack's deck so uh, we can see what kind of deck we are dealing with. Okay, and we are over on rlcdb.com and Monterey Jack and the Temple of Doom of Estli deck is here. And uh, right away uh, I spent 9 experience for this deck and this is a, otherwise a standalone so I don't have any uh, uh, equipment or the supplies that you would get in a normal campaign play but I am playing this as a standalone. Uh, then, uh, of course, um, because this team played through, I wanted to uh, do some silly stuff for the deck. So, to be able to pick the machete, which uh, Monterey Jack wouldn't be able to get, but uh, the machete is a crucial part of the uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom uh, movie. I wanted to include at least one machete in the deck, so that means uh, I had to include Versatile. So this uh, brought my deck size up by 5, which is silly, but uh, I also took uh, Force Learning, which will increase my deck size even more by 15, but I am drawing two cards every um, upkeep phase and discarding one so my even though my deck is quite large it's I think 53 cards in total um, I am going through it faster so that should be okay but we'll see how that works but then uh, I took charisma just because uh, I am uh, simulating the companions that are in the Indiana Jones movie so uh, we have <laughs> Henry Wan, uh, which is a trash uh, ally usually, but because uh, Henry is the only Asian uh, ally we have for Rogue, I decided to add Henry to the deck to play the role of uh, short stuff. Uh, so the little Chinese guy from the movies, or was he it, was it Japanese, but I, I can't now remember. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Henry one will be substituting for that uh, companion. Then uh, Lonnie Ritter is uh, here to substitute for the singer, but of course, uh, just 
wanted to have have Lonnie in the deck, so we might be able to fight at least a little, and also for some horror, so possibly. But yeah, just to keep in the theme, I picked uh, leather jackets because uh, Indiana Jones is famous for the leather jacket also. Uh, fieldworks and uh, lone wolves are just basic rogue and seeker stuff. Uh, I'm out of here. Well, this is just because of the scenario. Uh, breaking and entering feels like a good uh, indie car because indie is always breaking into bases and getting stuff. Falling in favors is basically if we really need to uh, switch the ally. We can fetch the other ally with the calling in favors just to be more flavorful. Uh, ease drop. Uh, I really don't know why I added this. Could be good in some locations because we are good at evading, so we could then investigate with this and get uh, extra clues. Uh, elusive, uh, always good. Uh, and uh, a reminder I'm not playing on Taboo because. Otherwise, the machete would cost experience, and I didn't have enough experience to keep him under 9. And uh, even I wouldn't be doing this uh, with the uh, Taboo List deck. Because we're having fun, and I don't mind. I'm, I'm not trying to break the game, so what, why bother using the Taboo List? Uh, Faustian Bargain, uh, Resource Generation, the Report, uh, Clues. Scout ahead uh, is a newer car. This could be really good at the end if we don't have the uh, I'm out of here. So we could scout ahead moving with this uh, past enemies in the corridors. Shortcut every time good. Uh, slate of hand. This is just so we can uh, get some uh, flashlight lock stick or something else into, into the play fast. What's this uh, manual dexterity in nimble perception? Level 2, quick thinking, unexpected courage, so basic uh, skill cards. We are drawing a bunch. I'm not expecting to be able to play everything, uh, but we have plenty of choices at least. So, this is basically a fun deck to try out and uh, we'll keep it at that. So. We are basically ready to begin. So Monterey Jack starts at the entryway and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are ready to begin. Uh, all the decks are shuffled. Uh, we'll draw our opening hand of five cards. And this is a pretty thick, thick deck, so We'll see how further down we go. And um, uh, I forgot to mention the basic weakness I got was uh, through the gate, so that could hurt us a lot because we have a lot of double uh, doubles in the deck. So scout ahead. I'm out of here. Inter report. Lone wolf flashlight. We're keeping uh, these two. Malikan in the rest. Uh, scout ahead. I'm out of here, manual dexterity. Well, basically, the same cards we already got, but nothing we can do. We'll have to manage with this hand. So, just a quick shuffle to the deck, and uh, Montre is ready to start investigating. So, first action we'll play a flashlight. It costs two. Put uh, e resources of flashlight. Second action, I think uh, we'll play Lone Wolf. Last action, we'll investigate. And I won't use the uh, flashlight yet because this is only a two shot location we are investigating for. So let's see what happens. Uh, actually, the there are minus trees and stuff like that, so ah, let's let's risk it. We're not using the flashlight yet, so 
will get an elder sign. So plus one if you started this round one or more locations away from the third location, gain one resource or draw a card. We didn't, we only get the clue, but still that is a good first turn. Uh, so we'll go to upkeep. We can't trigger uh, Monterey Jack's ability yet because we didn't move. So we draw one card, gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add one doom to the agenda, and the agenda has six plus one per investigator threshold, so seven. Encounter card for this turn is entombed. Put entombed into play in your threat area. You cannot disengage from enemies or move. Action test agility for to escape the tomb or uh, fight for to break out. If you succeed this card from the tomb, you will reduce the difficulty by one. And uh, until the end of the round, and uh, uh, we'll go to the investigation phase. Uh, Lone Wolf gives us one source. Uh, first action will try to break out. I am committing manual dexterity. Oh, yeah. Uh, I immediately played the end of the round wrong, so uh, we draw quick thinking. I should have drawn two cards, so I am actually discarding quick thinking while keeping the perception. Okay, and uh, I I really need to remember the horse learning from now on. Don't want don't want to back track every turn by forgetting. Uh, second action. Oh yeah, first action still. So, uh, manual dexterity committed to the tomb, so I am testing uh, 7 versus 4. So it should be okay even with the minus 3 in the back. And it is a skull. Skull is minus 1, minus 3 instead if there is tomb on your location. We still succeed, so the tomb is discarded. Uh, manual dexterity draws us one card. We get nimble. Uh, second action, we are um, exploring, so uh, we are looking for red, uh, green, or I think that's purple star, but we'll see. So that is not connected, that is not connected, that is not connected, that is not connected. The green one is connected, so sealed has it, so we shuffle one encounter card here into the exploration deck, and we move to the sealed passage. And uh, just a reminder, uh, we are able to uh, explore again if we want. So, uh, 9 Shroud, 0 Bruce, check your supplies if you have the key of Estli. Just exploration deck and all, set aside cards for the Chamber of Time and put it into play. If it's Act 1, a skip directly to Act 2 for the remainder of the Act sealed because it's connected to Chamber of Time and vice versa. Group. It wants per game. So we are actually uh, unable to use the sealed passage. So we just have to move onwards. And uh, that is enough shuffling for the exploration deck. Uh, Last action, I will just explore again. And now we are looking for yellow, red, or the well, the star. And we get the red, so ancient all. So we shuffle another card into the exploration deck from the encounter deck. Okay. Ancient hall. Shroud of Tree, one clue. Ancient Hall enters play with one Doom on it. Uh, action flip one Doom on Ancient Hall to its clue side and uh, fast action check your supplies if you have a compass. Flip one Doom on Ancient Hall to its clue side. Could flip once per round. So uh, we don't have a compass, so we probably will just spend an action to flip that and get the clue. And that is the uh, turn done. No enemies. We go to upkeep. We draw two cards. Discard one. I'm discarding illusion. Taking Henry one into hand. It might be stupid, but I need to have an ally in play. 
just for the fun of it. And we gain one resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Snake, uh, Snake Scourge. A curse revelation puts Snake Scourge in the bay into your threat area. If you are poisoned, Snake Scourge gains Surge. <laughs> Three deeds of your non-weakness item as it does it with the expert were blank. Pause at the end of the round, discard the snake's scourge. So uh, we have a uh, flashlight, so we can't use the flashlight this turn. Oh, that's okay. And uh, uh, we get the lone wolf money. First action, we play Henry one. Second action, we'll flip one of the rooms on the blue side. Last action, um, we'll use the perception and investigate. So, investigating seven versus three. It is a plus one. So, uh, we get one clue, and we actually need three clues, so we get the last clue from this location, which is great. A perception, uh, if this test is successful, draw uh, one card, two cards instead if you succeed by two or more, so we draw two cards. We get another perception, lone wolf, and uh, that is our turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw two cards, I'll pick the elusive, discard one, and... That is that turn. Oh yeah, we get one resource, so that is that turn. Let this also get discarded. And now that is the that, uh, end of the turn, and let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another Doom. Encounter card for this turn is... Creeping Poison Surge. We are not poisoned, so that just uh, surges. Uh, final mistake. Test Agility 2. If this test... Uh, this Test gets plus one difficulty for each two modification. If you fail, take two damage. Now we're just testing this, so uh, five versus two. It is a skull, so minus one. So we pass, and nothing happens. First action. Um, I think I will just explore. Or no, first action we will use the flashlight to investigate. Uh, investigating uh, 4 versus 1. It's a cultist, it is uh, minus x, where x is the number of locations with room on them, so it's 0. We get this clue. Let's see, can we. So, we can um, advance any time, so. I am advancing at this point. So, shuffle the set aside Chamber of Time location into the exploration deck. Check your supplies if we have chalk. Otherwise, place this. Uh, well, this just becomes uh, Vengeance 1 because we don't have any supplies. And we get the Chamber of Time location. That gets shoveled here. I'm gonna shuffle this that much because we are exploring right away. Or uh, rather, shuffle it enough, but we are exploring. Second action we'll explore. So let's see, we need to find one of those symbols. So actually, it's only. Uh, okay, yeah, well, this is connected there, and okay, the only, only one we can. Get is the oh, yeah actually <laughs> this is the problem with this uh, uh, scenario. So I think this should be correct now. Yeah. Okay, so the only only location we can hit is the heart. So that is not a hit. That is not a hit, so I probably will get a treachery or something. No. So we find Brood of Yig. So... If 
fail at the exploration. Okay, so hmm, how do we deal with this guy? I think we're just evading and running away. So shuffling the uh, exploration deck. And this guy is also a hunter, so it will be a pain in our asses for the rest of the game because we're not fighting. And uh, also, this has plus one fight for each vengeance. So, yeah. Uh, last action, we'll use Nimble to evade. So evading six versus two. Skull is some minus one. We succeed, and we are able to move away. This guy is evaded here. Just put it over there. And that is our turn, no enemy action to the upkeep, we draw two cards. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. And we discard one of these at least, so I think I'm discarding the buried secrets. And taking the through the gates. Because uh, force learning doesn't say anything about weaknesses. If we draw two weaknesses, can just discard one of them. Nice. So, uh, draw the top card of, of your deck. <laughs> oh my god. So we remove Henry 1 and Henry 1 from the game. Goodbye, short stuff. Oh, that, that was a... <laughs> well, it, it happens. Well, what can you do? And we get one uh, resource. And I think I forgot the uh, long wolf, but whatever. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another Doom, 4 of 7. Encounter card for this turn is... Uh, Merging Timelines. Discard the top 5 cards of your deck. For each card in your hand that matches one of the discarded cards, discard that card from your hand and lose one action. Shuffle each weakness discarded by this effect into your deck. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, 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 nothing. So we just discard those and we don't lose any actions. First action, uh, we will uh, explore. So we are looking for the star. It's not star, uh, utter time. So, uh, test uh, willpower 3 for each point you fail by, you must either lose 1 action or 2 or don't have any willpower items to commit, so just testing 1 versus 3 minus 1, so we take 3 or actually I take 2 or lose 1 action, and that is my turn. No, uh, I still have 1 action, so last action, uh, explore. So we are still looking for the star, so not a star, 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 and grain chamber is the star, so at least we get somewhere, we get uh, one treachery shuffled in here. And uh, let's rearrange these. So uh, there is one clue here, crowd. And uh, check your supplies if you have a map and there are no clues 
for the remainder of the scenario. Nancheve loses Ventures one against Liquid One. So we don't have that. But yeah, uh, enemy phase, this guy hunts over here. Upkeep. We draw. Oh yeah, now I forgot the long wolf. So, upkeep, we draw two cards. Discard one. I think we need that. Uh, more. Gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 of 7 Doom. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Fang of Yig. So 3 fight, 3 health, and 3 evade. Humanoid Master Serpent, Prey, Poison, Investigator. Retaliate while Fang of Yig is engaged with the Poison. Investigator that Investigator cannot play cards or commit cards to skill tests. It's engaged with us, and uh, first off, we will probably just evade this guy. So I'm committing the lone wolf. One, two, three, committing lone wolf to the test. Mm, evading uh, six versus three. Auto <laughs> fail. Yeah. I think we just leave the clue here. We'll just try to evade again. Yeah. Uh, five versus three, so up by two. Uh, minus two, that's enough. This guy is evaded. Uh, last action explore, and we are trying to find the boss. Let's see. We are entombed, so that is a bummer. Okay, enemy face, this guy hunts here, attacks us for one and one. Things are turning out bad. <laughs> And uh, we are unable to uh, disengage from enemies or move. We can evade enemies. They are st stuck with us. So, I think uh, we need. Can't even play elusive while the, uh, the end zoom is in play, but that's life. Uh, we go to upkeep, we draw two cards, discard one. We we'll keep the unexpected courage in one resource, and uh, we also probably forgot the lone wolf, but I think that doesn't matter. This guy ready, engages us again. And <laughs> that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Now we are at 6 of 7 Doom. Uh, the encounter card for this turn is... Uh, final mistake, so let's just test it. Uh, 5 versus 2. Minus 1, we pass. First action, uh, we will... Evade the brood of Yig. Five versus two. It's a zero. That is evaded. Uh, actually, yeah, it stays engaged with us. Uh, then we invade Fang of Yig. Actually, <coughs> the I'll commit the unexpected spirit, so 7 versus 3. Uh, 
uh, reveal another token. If we fail, we place one doom on location. Minus three, we are able to pass. Thank God. Um, last action, uh, we'll test the entombed. I'm committing the scout ahead. Elder sign, uh, it's a plus one. We haven't moved, so we just get rid of this. Last, uh, well, that was our last action, but I am uh, using the elusive to just get out of here. We'll move to the ancient halls. And that is that. Uh, so these guys are left behind. Uh, no enemy action to go to upkeep. These guys ready. Uh, we draw two cards. I'll take the full whip. Again, one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add the seventh doom, so the agenda advances, unfortunately. Taking way too much time here now. So, uh, spawn the Stasite Harbinger of Volusia at the location with the most doom. So we can spawn it anywhere. And, uh, we'll spawn it over here. Uh, we'll go. To, we'll get an encounter card. It is Serpent of Yod. Well, we are getting all of the uh, enemies apparently. Uh, we have one vengeance point in the victory display, so this guy gets to retaliate, but nothing more. First action, evading this guy. No, first action, we are fast. Uh, we are fast playing the Trusty Bullwhip. Oh yeah, uh, we get Lone Wolf. We pay for two. We will fight. I will use the... Um, agility instead of fight, so... 5 versus 3. Minus 2, we hit, so... I'll exhaust the full whip to automatically evade the attack the enemy or deal plus two damage. I'll just evade. And we will. Uh, second action, we will explore. We're looking for the heart. So we get. Uh, like chamber. We shuffle one card into the counter deck. So, uh, mosaic chamber, three shrouds, one cool. Uh, check your supplies. If you have a canteen, we don't. We'll just skip that text. And. Uh, this is not connected to anything else, so we have some breathing room now. And uh, yeah, last action will investigate. I will use the flashlight here. So I am investigating uh, four versus one. Actually. I'm also, well, I'm not going. Yeah, four versus one should be enough. Minus one, so we grab this clue. Oh, yeah, we spent three clues earlier. Just forgot to discard them. Uh, we'll go to up uh, enemy face. Uh, these guys hunt here, this guy hunts here. We'll just make a murder ball out of them. 
upkeep this guy ready is draw two cards I'll pick the Bostian bargain we probably won't be playing a lot of picks anymore uh, we'll gain one resource that is that turn and uh, let's go to the next turn we add another doom so at threshold is 13 now so one of 13 uh, encounter card for this turn is obscuring fog so we just place it over here and that is that uh, investigation phase uh, we will uh, explore and we are looking for uh, the Tetris piece triangle oh yeah uh, yeah so the triangle Okay, so Tomb of the Ancients, Force Route 1 crew, check your supplies, we don't have any supplies, so we'll just skip the text. There is Force Route 1 crew. And, uh, we investigate or explore, I think we'll take a risk and explore. So, yeah, so we explore and we are looking for the hourglass, the Tetris piece, and that's it. Or the glass, yeah. And we find the Chamber of Time. Shuffle one more uh, card to the exploration deck, but I probably won't be exploring anymore. We'll add two clues here. And uh, first, after Chamber of Time and display, attach the set of that relic of agent as the Chamber of Time and place my clue in Chamber of Time. Yeah. So we get the relic of ages. And we'll just these guys over here for a moment and uh, last action we will uh, investigate here and I'm using the uh, perception and the flashlight so investigating uh, 7 versus 2 <laughs> it's a good thing because it's a minus 5 uh, we grab one clue that is enough uh, only investigators in the Chamber of Time have spent the required number of clues is moved to advance, so we advance. Choose an investigator in the Chamber of Time to take control of the Relic of Ages. So Monterey Jack grabs that. Move the placement of each location from the straight form a straight line with the Chamber of Time on the left and the entryway on the right. Each other location is placed from the left to right between the two locations in order of how much doom is on them from the lowest to the highest uh, until the end of the scenario ignore all location connections it's that each location is connected to each location on its left or right and uh, objective if each undefeated investigator has resigned advance and uh, i think that is game next turn we can just uh, i'm out of here and uh, in the scenario so let's just reorganize these quickly, like, like so, just uh, putting the entry over here, removing these. Uh, let's put some of these here. That is good. Now these enemies can't get to me next turn. Okay. And that is our turn. Oh yeah, and we succeeded. So 
we draw one card, we didn't succeed by two or more, we get a lucky secret case. Uh, enemy face, uh, these guys hunt here. Upkeep, we draw two cards, we pick machete. Get one resource. And that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, uh, Encounter card for this turn is... It is Ill Omen Peril. Choose a location where there is at least one investigator. Place one Doom on that location. Each investigator at the chosen location takes one horror. We take one horror. Uh, location gets a Doom. So, uh, first action, we will play I'm out of here and resign, and that is game. So, uh, we were uh, getting in a lot of trouble with the enemies, but uh, luckily Monterey Jack is a slippery, slippery guy, so he's able to evade easily. And also, this uh, I'm out of here is just a cheat card for this uh, scenario, but if we wouldn't have this, I still have uh, I have the scout ahead in the deck, and also he probably would have tried to save uh, one of the elusives. So, yeah, plenty of ways to get past those enemies, and they were clumped up quite good. So, you could have like uh, move, move, uh, play the scout ahead, so one, two, three, and this would not catch up to us and next turn move and uh, uh, resign so yeah that was uh, well uh, let's do that we at least played the machete before we resign so that <laughs> that is and yeah lucky secret case why not so last action resign so yeah that that was the uh, return to the Doom of Etsy with Monterey Jack. So, uh, hope you guys like this uh, holiday playthrough. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for watching, and until next time.